What's up people? Welcome back to the Extra Zone Arcade, the greatest source of Sonic X Shadow Generations content. I'm way beyond hyped for this remaster, probably more than I have any reason to be. I mean, just look at all the videos I've already done on this game. More to come by the way, so stay tuned. But one thing I've yet to talk about is arguably the most important aspect of the original game. That's right, it's time to talk about returning stages. This video is essentially going to be a wish list, so don't take this as me saying these things need to be here, just the stuff I think would be cool. I'm going to be covering both the remaster generations and shadow generations in this video. For the remaster portion, we'll be adding two new eras consisting of stages from games after generations. For the shadow portion, I'll be adding six additional stages on top of the three we already know about to match the base game. Also, I'm going to keep it a rule to not include levels that have reappeared in other games such as the 3DS version of Generations, Mania or Forces. So essentially, I'll be adding 6 more stages to the remaster and 6 to Shadow for a total of 12 new stages. All good? Then let's get into this. So, in the original Generations we had the Classic Era, Dreamcast Era, even though Heroes is there and it doesn't make sense but just roll with it, and the, at the time, Modern Era. So what would the next two be called? The first one will be called the Dimensions Era, mostly in reference to Mania and Forces. So it's only appropriate that we start with my pick for the Lost World stage. Now, this game's settings are... very uninspired. I don't want to go with any of the Green Hill-esque stages like Windy Hill or Sky Road. Tropical Coast and Lava Mountain lose out because we already have those kinds of themes in Seaside Hill and Crisis City. So that pretty much just leaves Desert Ruins, Frozen Factory and Silent Forest. Mm, yeah, I'm just going to go with Frozen Factory on the basis that we don't have a snow theme level and there aren't many to pick from past this point. Yeah, I don't have much more to say because it's freaking Sonic Lost World, so let's just move on. Sonic Mania! Now, this one's going to be a lot simpler. A, because this game only has four original levels, and B, there is one level from this game that instantly stands out and is the most iconic thing from it. That being, of course, Studiopolis. I mean, it just had to be this one. The music, the vibes, the references. This level in 3D would be absolutely mind-blowing. I can imagine a trick section as modern Sonic where you're being recorded and the more tricks you perform, the more rings you get. Or heck, even a chase segment with the heavy gunner blowing up the road where you have to quick step and dodge his attacks. So much potential here, man. Sonic Forces is next and once again makes our job easier by only having four new level themes. That being Sunset City, Mystic Jungle, Metropolis, but everything is white, and Eggman Empire Fortress. Out of all of these, the one most iconic to this game used in all the marketing was Sunset City. But we're not actually picking it because there's a lot of city levels and we already have Crisis City which is pretty similar, being a destroyed urban area. You know what Generations is lacking, not counting the 3DS version and DLC? A casino level. You know, one of the things that Sonic is most known for? Yeah, they had the pinball table, but like, who cares about that? Let's bring in Mystic Jungle to knock out two level themes not present in the original. You could even incorporate the giant snake into classic Sonic stage, similar to the gun truck in his version of City Escape, where it's constantly menacing you throughout the stage. So that's the Dimensions era, pretty straightforward. The Lost World and Forces stages would have to do a lot to improve them from the original counterparts, but I believe they could make it work. Still, I think I managed to pick some pretty varied and interesting stages here, so I'm happy with that lineup. The next era is kinda interesting, because there are technically two games in this era so far, but I decided to throw in an extra one because I've seen many people count it as a mainline game. So, this era is going to be called the New Horizons era, mainly in reference to Frontiers. After all, that game has done a lot for this franchise. So I guess this time it's actually appropriate that we start the era off with the game its name was inspired by. That's right, we're starting with Sonic Superstar- okay, seriously. Sonic Frontiers. So this game is really split into two halves, the cyberspace stages which are all returning levels, save for the city so we can ignore them all, and the brand new open zones. But the themes for the open zones aren't exactly the most exciting on their own, so I had a better idea. Combine them all into one stage called Starfall Islands. Bam. Now, I know that sounds crazy, but here's how I think it should work. For the sake of simplicity, because god knows this is already nuts, let's combine Kronos, Rhea, and Oranos Island into one as it was originally intended, just having three islands you go between total. You progress through them in the same order as Frontiers, getting to the next one via Warp Ring similar to the one that takes you to the Final Horizon story. Obviously, since this will be running on the old generations engine, it won't be able to load them in an instant, so you could have a skydiving segment or something similar to mask that without having to break the pace too much. You could even have the Guardians show up and Titans in the background. Maybe as classic Sonic you have a section where you run along the Wyvern, or as modern Sonic, a section where you have a foot race against Knight as he tries to slice you in half with his shield. Very ambitious concept for a stage, I know, but I've had this idea for a while now. Whew, okay, 
That was a lot, so let's keep this next one short and sweet. Sonic Superstars is all original stages, and a lot of them are actually pretty cool with a lot of potential to make great generation stages. Speed Jungle was my initial thought, but we already have a jungle level in there, so I'm going to go with something a little different. Cyber Station. Now this is a unique level theme that I always love seeing, and unfortunately didn't have a chance to show up in the original game. These digital cyberspace type levels actually never appeared in a mainline game until Superstars, so I had to seize this opportunity. It helps that this level was used pretty frequently in marketing, so it has that wide appeal too. I was also initially thinking of having the Emerald powers be a gimmick for this stage similar to Planet Wisps. Wisps in the original game, but Cyber Station already has a good number of its own gimmicks to make up for that. Of course, both modern and classic Sonic will have voxel models for the stage, and you could almost make the modern version similar to the digital circuit stage from Shadow 2005. So, the final level I'm including in this section of the video is going to be from an unlikely source. We're going mobile, people, because it's time to talk about Sonic Dream Team. Now, this is a game I have not played because I wouldn't be caught dead with an Apple product and don't know a lot about it. From my research though, I concluded that the most interesting level to include would be the Nightmare Maze. I think this one could really work as a final level with its creepy and trippy aesthetics. Once again, it's a pretty unique theme that I think has plenty of potential in Generation style. You could include a curse moment where you trip out and Sonic switches between his classic and modern self, depending on which act you're playing. Really not much more to say on this one since there's not much in the way of crazy level mechanics which looks like the case for the whole game. That wraps up the New Horizons era and all the levels I'd like to see included if they add any more to the Generations remaster. Now let's get into some of that old edgy the hedgy goodness. But first, I just want to establish that I won't be as strict on certain things like level themes already being used since there's going to be significantly less to pick from. Second, all the levels will come from either SA2, Heroes, Shadow 05 or Sonic 06 since those are all the games represented so far and are the ones where Shadow plays a large role. Lastly, I'll be picking one level from SA2 as we've already seen two showcases from that game, even though it is technically in one stage. Also, only one from Heroes since that game isn't as significant to Shadow's lore and this game is clearly going to be more focused on story. Then with Shadow 05 obviously placing the entire focus on him, it makes the most sense for that game to have three stages representing it. And 06 gets one more only because I ran out of space. So, let's choose him. From Sonic Adventure 2, it's pretty easy to choose as Shadow only has four levels, meaning half of them are already in the game. Oh, and for the record, even if Radical Highway wasn't in Shadow Generations, it still appeared in the 3DS version, so it's disqualified. Anyway, my only picks are between Sky Rail and White Jungle, and I think I'm going to go with White Jungle. The moody, rainy aesthetic could really work well with the tone of Shadow Generations, and also kind of represents a turning point for Shadow's character within the story of SA2. That's where we get to see the softer side of Shadow with him going to rescue Rouge and, of course, the Chaos Emeralds before the island blows up. Sky Rail only really lost out because of the fact that we already have two levels that are pretty heavy on grinding, and the level wasn't even originally Shadow's. Coming in hot from Heroes is going to be Egg Fleet slash Final Fortress. Now, I know what I just said about levels with a lot of rails, but this one isn't quite as focused on them as Final Rush, Rail Canyon, or Sky Rail. Not only that, but this is probably the second most popular level from Heroes behind Seaside Hill, and it's one that's been requested for a comeback for quite some time. It also probably fits the tone of Shadow Generations better than most other stages from Heroes. You could even have more of those cool moments where you use Chaos Control to platform on incoming missiles or cannonballs. I did originally consider Hang Castle slash Mystic Mansion, but figured it was a little too campy and isn't as significant to the plot of Heroes. Time for the Shadow 05 Triathlon, starting of course with Westopolis. City level this, city level that. Look, when you think of that game, this is the first thing that comes to mind. You also revisit it a lot in the form of other stages like Lethal Highway and Central City, so you could work elements from those in to vary things up. You can take the skydiving sections from the original and make them more interactive with the modern skydiving mechanics, actually having to dodge the oncoming lasers. Following that, we got Gun Fortress. I think it'd be really nice to see their base of operations in HD. And one thing I really liked from the original were those CCTV perspective shots, so it'd be cool to see that done with nice modern graphics. You could even go crazy and actually have the gun commander and president show up in their escape jet. Slight elephant in the room with this one is that this level only appears in a few of the many non-canon playthroughs. But if they can bring back levels from 06, a game that was literally erased from the timeline, I feel like I should be able to bend the rules a little bit. You could also always just explain it as an alternate timeline or illusion caused by Black Doom. Problem solved. The final level from Shadow's titular game is going to be the Black Comet. If we had a level in the home base of Gun, it only makes sense to include the one from the other warring faction of the game, the Black Arms. It being a final level also gives it an edge here since they could easily have that be the last stage here too. And this is where you confront Black Doom once again before the true final fight. 
Well, assuming it works the same way as in base generations. Similar to Westopolis, this level also has a couple variants, being Final Horn and The Last Way, that we can also work into the design here. One thing that would be cool throughout all these Shadow 05 levels is if you could see the battle between Gun and the Black Arms taking place, and just like in the original, you can actually choose who to side with. Granted, I don't think it should affect the story or anything, but maybe just in gameplay. Like, if you kill more of one army than the other, the game will recognise that and they'll start targeting you more, while the other becomes neutral to you. And finally, to wrap up all the Shadow stages and this video as a whole, the final stage is gonna be... Drumroll please! Flame Core from Sonic 06. So, 06 has a lot of cool level themes despite the fact that they're mostly awful to play. Picking one was pretty hard, but I think after Crisis City and Kingdom Valley, Flame Core is the most popular. In terms of visuals, I think it fits the bill for what we're looking for with Shadow Generations, and this is also where we have our first boss fight with Mephilus. It's pretty story significant because of that, and could potentially lead to some return, even if just a little cameo from one of the franchise's best villains. And honestly, above all else, a remix for both inside and outside the volcano would probably cause me to ascend to a higher plane, and I need that right now. But yeah, that does it for the Shadow levels. These could show up in-game in any order really, with the exception of Black Comet, which should be the last. They could even just be merged together, similarly to how Space Colony Arc transitions to Radical Highway, making it 5 stages with 10 levels represented in total. Either way, I'm down to see more of what this game has in store for us. And there you have it folks, my very wishlisty wishlist of returning levels making their way into both the Generations Remaster and the Shadow portion of Sonic X Shadow Generations. Let me know what you think of this lineup and feel free to leave your own suggestions down below. I'd love to see some of your ideas and reasoning for what levels you'd have returned. Let's enjoy the hype together, and remember to keep it locked here on the Extra Zone Arcade for more Sonic X Shadow Generations content. Go follow us over on Twitch to catch our frequent live streams, as well as Twitter to watch me yap about stuff. And with all that said, remember to drink lots of water, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you back here again soon.